Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to our video series on IGCSE Coordinated Sciences. This is Unit Biology 1, Part 1. In today's lesson, we will be learning about the characteristics of living organisms. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Let's start off this series with something simple, the characteristics of living organisms. An easy way to remember all the characteristics is Mrs. Gren. M. Movement. R. Respiration. S. Sensitivity. G. Growth. R. Reproduction. E. Excretion. N. Nutrition. We need to be able to describe the characteristics of living organisms by defining each of the terms. First, we will do this for the core syllabus. The definitions are subtly different between core and supplemental. Movement is an action by an organism causing a change of position or place. Respiration is the chemical reactions in cells that break down nutrient molecules and release energy. Sensitivity is the ability to detect and respond to changes in the environment. Growth is a permanent increase in size. Reproduction is the processes that make more of the same kind of organism. Excretion is removal from organisms of toxic materials and substances in excess of requirements. Nutrition is taking in of materials for energy growth and development. It is essential that you learn each of these definitions. Define the terms this time for supplemental. Movement as an action by an organism or part of an organism causing a change of position or place. Respiration as the chemical reactions in cells that break down nutrient molecules and release energy for metabolism. Sensitivity is the ability to detect or sense stimuli in the internal or external environment and to make appropriate responses. Growth is a permanent increase in cell number or size or both. Excretion is removal from organisms of the waste products of metabolism, chemical reactions in cells including respiration, toxic materials, and substances in excess of requirements. Nutrition is taking in of minerals for energy, growth, and development. Plants require light, carbon dioxide, water, and ions. Animals need organic compounds and ions and usually need water. Learn these definitions. If you skipped over the first point, I'm just going to say it again. An easy way to remember all the characteristics is Mrs. Gren. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.